Hello there everyone, Ashen Flash here and welcome on into a Lego Batman early set review. Today we are looking at set number 76238. This is the Batman classic TV series Cowl and ah, uh, this set is available beginning on October the 1st for $59.99 USD or $79.99 Canadian. And this, to me, is not worth that price at all. They lowered the price for the Scout Trooper, so I don't know what happened here. I don't even really understand. Like, it's kind of disgusting. And I'll tell you why I'm disgusted by the price of this set. On October the 1st, two Batman sets are launching. See them both on screen now. Look at the piece counts. The cowl has 372 pieces, whereas the tumbler has 422, so it has more pieces, has more stickers, and has more new prints. This set is $30 more for less pieces and less prints I'm shocked. Disgusted, really. I, I I think it's unacceptable, the price for this. It should have been minimum $10 cheaper, just like the Scout Trooper was. It's really unacceptable. But the set itself, however, is amazing. And it is actually revolutionizing the helmets. And I think it's really cool, and it's something that we'll see going forward for more helmets in the future. They also launched the other Bat Cowl this year, which... To me, didn't really work because of the head. And they kind of perfected it here. Without any effort, you can remove it. So I love that about this set. I think this is very cool. It is a very great concept. I hope they use that. And especially with like more Marvel helmets that have like the mouth open and the head open, as well as like with Star Wars helmets, this is going to be amazing really incredible you could see there that you've got that little uh flat piece there that you know is used for like ships to move around and slide about and then on the stand there's actually a hole on the top with these flat tiles here so what that allows you to do is take the cowl and put it on and i think that is so much better than the other cowl i really love the idea of having it based off of the classic tv series i wish the batman logo was the same as the other one but it's okay i think this still looks really great and this nose piece here is actually printed and these are all stickers now you'll see as i kind of move this around it does jiggle a little bit and you know if you really shake it about i i noticed that it'll kind of move a bit but most of the time it falls back into place like i'm not too concerned about this falling off when i display this next to the other ones i think this is amazing i really do you can kind of see it wobble about then it always goes back into place so i think this is really great i love the design of it and everything that they've done i think the eyes and everything look great the nose works perfectly and the side cowl ears here i think look great you can see a bit of yellow sticking through there but that's okay it was actually very difficult to assemble i will say they're using a bunch of new pieces i've never seen before on the inside there um and that was just really interesting and so difficult to actually put all of the sides and attach them but it looks great i think that this is the way to go for cowls in the future and other helmets like all of them need to do this. I understand, like, Venom and stuff like that, those are heads. Helmets, please do this. Like, I, I honestly, like, I could see people just removing these little stands and just having this be a display where you could just interchange them. And, you know, it's great. I really love the design of this. And let's just go ahead and take a closer look here at this little sign. Which, like I said before, should have been the other Batman sign. But I do like that it is the 1966 logo there. Um, and it, it looks really great. Should say cowl there, but uh, I'll accept it. And there is actually another use for this. And I think it's kind of interesting because a lot of times I build sets upstairs and I bring them downstairs after I'm done. And of course, when I build a lot of them, I'll actually have a lot of spare parts. So as you can see, I got a couple sets, of course, today. And it just also served as like a little carrier to bring down all of these parts uh, when I was bringing them down. So I thought that was pretty interesting. 
And as we do with the helmets, we always take a closer look at the box. And I really love the designs of them. I, I like that we have this logo there. And also that they have the regular Batman yellow logo there. But with the uh, 1966 there. I think that's pretty cool. And uh, on the back there. There is or first we'll look at the sides with the Batman logo. Uh, the classic one. Same with on the top there. And then you get a really good look here at the cowl and with the symbol. And on the back, we actually have some reference pictures there. So let's go take a closer look. And you can see the Adam West cowl there in use here. Looks great. I think they really did a great job with the sticker usages and all that. But uh, maybe the uh, lines there for the eyebrows could have been a little further apart, but still looks really great. And we also take a look at the instructions. So here it is here, pretty straightforward, just uh, the cowl on the front. But then we get uh, some information here. So you can pause if you want to read uh, everything that is being said here about it. And again, those reference pictures that we used on the box. And then we have some comments from the designer here. So I think that is really cool. Um, I love that they actually do make mention here of it being on and off the display uh, and it, it's meant to fit into any layer so I think that's pretty cool um, I really love that that they did that so yeah nothing else here and no ads or anything like that in the back because why would they for DC when there's nothing to advertise well, there you have it, everyone. That is my review of the Batman Classic TV series cowl. Here is the other cowl from this year. And you could see what I mean there if you were wondering with the mask there. So this is so much better. The fact that you can remove this, and like they said in the instructions, and it it's like it just feels like you're in the Batcave that you could just wear this one today. You know what I mean? I think that looks so much better. And uh, they're the same price. There's so much more here. Does it look good? Does the chin strap and everything there look good? No. There's a lot of problems with that. You can check out my separate review for that. But price comparison wise, this is the better deal technically speaking. But anyways, everyone, I would love to hear your thoughts about this cowl what do you think of the price what do you think of it in general as a set because i think it's going to come down in price for sure go on sale because it's not necessarily worth it i'm not sure but uh i would also not be surprised if it is a very hot seller because that batmobile set could not be kept in shelves online oh my goodness back ordered like right away but if you want to check out my review for that set as well you could do that i'll link both of those two reviews here at the end. But but anyways, as always, be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss out on future LEGO Batman and DC Superheroes news and reviews. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Hope that you all have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.